today. From State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. This is the National Football League. Taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Arizona Cardinals. And wow, a gamble here right off the bat, an onside kick to begin the game. And this one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all, because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. They will throw on first down with Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. Well, it floated on him, and it's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back to the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Crater for the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So look at this. They got the 7-0 lead in the pocket, and they're going to try an onside kick. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. After the pick six, here's Burrow again. Out to his left. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. 
He was certainly quick to atone for his early game interception. Instead of making another mistake forcing something, he reset himself and found a lane to pick up the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. It's Mixon on the counter. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Back to Mixon on second down. About three yards there to the 27. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Burrow looking to pass. Dumps it off to Mixon. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? McPherson's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks at Taylor's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. This one fielded at the five. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Murray now on first down. Looking deep for his tight end, Ertz. Oh, and now look at this, big game, but a fumble. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. What would look like a march to the end zone is hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Murray again, second and 10. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. And oh, what a catch at the two. Touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And they are able to add on to their advantage. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Extra point good by Prater, and that pushes the lead up to 11. <laughs> That time, a six-play drive. And it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona.
after the touchdown. Out is Prater to kick. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And out now, here come the Bengals. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That one good for 37 yards. After one, a 14 to three ball game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Mixon with a first down carry. And he's got some space here. And all the way in. And even 30 yards for Joe Mixon. And the Bengals have cut it back within a score. Well, they've done a pretty good job keeping him in check to that point, but he finally breaks off a nice run here and gets into the end zone. And it just takes one, doesn't it, partner? That oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? What maybe was that? They, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I the, don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. A short kick taken at the 18. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Murray. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. As a former defender, I can feel their sigh of relief after that one because when he breaks out of the pocket and you face a mobile quarterback, he causes all kind of problems in your secondary. They were able to force that incompletion. Zach Ertz has it complete and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Throwing now is Murray. And incomplete on the deep ball. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, it turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. On second down, Connor looking for space. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? To throw is Murray. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far in second down. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Here's Murray. It's Brown with a great grab. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 and the 15. That one good for 26 and a first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. 
from the red zone. Here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray, fighting Ertz here on the out route. And he's going to get marked down just outside the 10. And there's a potential to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", six, 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 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And it'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Third down, it's Connor. He'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It's fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass. But that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football. And they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. Prater's kick is good. And that'll push the team up to eight. So a nice kick here as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been better of the two teams in their first half. So even if you walk the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. And this one is out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the offensive kick try. So now the possession should be getting to 35 after the errant kickoff. That's just one way to avoid a day picture, I suppose, but you're giving up extra yards, that's for sure. Because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. On play action. Forced out to his left. Lob it in there, and it's incomplete. But you know me, whether you need to get it out, good or unsolicited advice. Just throw it right down, right out of the pocket, only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards. It's a safer way. To throw on second and ten. Burrow. Pressure to bring him down here. The Cardinals get him. Oh, Multiple so players combined for the team's first sack of the game. We gotta give him points for the attempt. Yeah, There's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few. Couldn't evade all of them. Now on third and long, they'll look to the throw. Escaping the pressure right. This is caught at the 20. And he's gonna be marked down yeah. just outside the 10. Yeah. And at 55 left to go, go in the first, first step, step aside. aside. Now now first and 10, ten at the 11. 11. Let's watch a play from Mexico. And he will take, take it in for a big touchdown. Mixon with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals have come back to make it a two-point game. So a strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the middle of the And he's able to take it into the end zone. Goes right to side. And he's got it. And went for two to tie the game, and it works out. So they, so they go they with a pass. They're going to two points. Try to get a converted charge. And a good and job by the offense figuring out their two point play and, and using it well. It's interesting how people use this strategy nowadays, isn't it? It really is. I don't know how much that went back to the play factor. But with the PAT team back in 15 to 16, it kind of changed things a bit. It's really part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk to coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about the she had two two week periods. It's this now. Something they never, never did it before. Arizona's offense is back out and ready to go. Drive drive last left. time, it's still spelled out. They're forced to take the short field, field goal. And the key key phrase, you nailed it the force, force too, because you know, you know coaches of these short field field goals as a last, last resort, resort, right? right to them. That's, that's not how drivers are supposed to do it. They're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation shot. So it's a county fair. You don't get the big stuff stand in on that one, do you? No, no. you don't go to the top show. That's a bottom show. show. Material. To throw, to throw it's Murray. And 
this one is in the lane. And you're a kick 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 Good play. Oh, that's 
it's going to hurt him because, because they didn't even come through with a completion there. Now, now, drive this started with great field position. It's facing, facing fourth down. And this, this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to move. And this will remain a one touchdown game. And now two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one. But second, you set the other guys up for a great field position and a tough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, obviously, they never want to set penalties on that defense. But this one, a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. The left hash should be a fairly easy one here. McPherson's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime. So he comes out of nowhere. He's got this handlebar mustache, greasy hair. And he says, would you rather eat a jar of mayonnaise or three sticks of butter? And I look. All right, never mind. Third quarter action now. The Cards with a lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. From the six. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well, and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. That goes for a gain of 31. Always a benefit to have a quarterback that can roam outside of the pocket, make that throw, and I guess it's helpful to have a guy that can come down with a ball like that. All of that ties in together perfectly. Imagine being on the other side of the ball, though. You think you've got coverage. The play gets extended. Now you've got to find a receiver to plaster onto before the ball gets there. Very difficult to do. Gain of 25 yards. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now Murray. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, the connection they've had has been excellent today, but not on that snap. I think he was asking just a little too much as he extended that play, hoping for one more completion with it. He's a little too aggressive there from his Mike linebacker spot. Sometimes you jump into gaps trying to draw them off sides. This time he tricked himself. The ball down at the one as they come up after the penalty on another second and goal. Connor is in. Touchdown, Arizona. That almost 
almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Extra point good by Prater, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Five plays there on that drive. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. Again, it's Mixon. 82 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quit in this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From midfield now, Burrow. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Cards will take over here just shy of the 30. Well, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Murray now. making the catch and he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion this offensive game plan has just been sensational I mean when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far it's really been impressive scheme design execution throwing on first down is Murray Knocked away and incomplete. And the end result of that play, you're almost not sure what you really want because when he gets outside of the pocket, you actually hold your breath because you think he's going to run for big yardage. But when he chose to pull it down and throw it and a play was made to knock it away, that's a pretty good end result. Not one you expected when the play began. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzie with a pick, and the Bengals are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. 
So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead, third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Back to Mixon on second down. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 102 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Flushed out right. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Now Burrow loses the football, and the Cardinals have got it, going the other way. Taking it right down Broadway. He's at the 30, 10, 5, and they bring this one back. A scoop and score, a fumble recovery touchdown for Arizona. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments, sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that, and that's what they've done all game long. Now Prater to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. But sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there a big third down conversion. Flush to his right. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. 
If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. On second down, here's Mixon. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Going with her tight end on fourth. Yeah, boy, that's going to be close. He didn't get much at all there, but he got the first. Looked like they might have held him defensively, but the referee signals it will be a first down. Now it's Burrow. Eluding the pressure right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And the Cardinals are going to take possession here at their own 33. Well, we've seen quarterbacks get away with throwing the ball on the run, no doubt. But this, Charles, I think you'd agree, not the best of throws. And listen, you're not always going to have a clean pocket to step up with the proper mechanics and deliver the football. I mean, that's a given. But you also have to understand your limits and know what you can get away with and what you can't when you're trying to make a throw like that. It's Logan Wilson there to bring him down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down again. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. The offense on third down, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. And now a shot into coverage downfield is complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Line of scrimmage moves from one 37-yard line to the other as they come up first and 10. Now it's Burrow escaping the pressure right. And that's caught one more time by Boyd. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up go. second down. This is Mixon on the draw. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. It's incomplete, took a shot, couldn't connect. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. 
That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Connor. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And then when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. Now we'll get whistles, and they've signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. Down to a knee goes Murray, as that will just about wrap this thing up. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned,